The West Nile virus, a mosquito-borne arbovirus of the family Flaviviridae, has become a cause of concern across Kerala, especially in Malappuram, Kori Kod, and Thrissur districts. The state has reported 12 confirmed and 4 suspected cases in the last week, triggering widespread panic. The state is now under high alert amid reports that West Nile virus is spreading around the world and causing human infections in every continent except Antarctica. So, what is West Nile virus? It is a single-stranded RNA virus transmitted mainly by mosquitoes which share similarities with viruses causing Japanese encephalitis and yellow fever. The virus is maintained in nature in a cycle involving transmission between birds and mosquitoes. It also infects humans, horses and other mammals. The virus gets transmitted from person to person through the biting of infected Culex mosquitoes which acquire the virus from infected birds, mostly migratory. The incubation period of the virus is between 3 and 14 days. The disease is asymptomatic in 80% of the infected people. About 1 in 5 people who are infected develop a fever with other symptoms such as headache, body aches, joint pains, vomiting, diarrhea or rash. The scariest part of the disease is that no vaccination specific to West Nile virus is available yet. The only treatments administered to neuroinvasive West Nile virus infections are supportive remedies. The virus is typically lethal in those who have comorbidities as well as immunocompromised individuals. According to T.S. Anish, a public health expert and the nodal officer for the Kerala Disaster Management Authority. In most countries, the peak of West Nile virus infections correlates with the time of the year when mosquito vectors are at their most active and the temperature of the surrounding environment is high enough for the virus to multiply. Recent climate change and raging floods have possibly resulted in copious vector-borne infectious diseases in the state, according to a 2022 study. The Health Minister Veena George told Down to Earth that a state-level mechanism is already in place to advise doctors, nurses and paramedical staff on how to treat patients with the disease and administer medicines. She also said that there is no need for people to panic because the state has been experiencing the presence of the virus since 2011 and is completely prepared to cope with any critical situation.